Have you ever wondered how much a buffalo nickel is actually worth? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at 1937 buffalo nickels that are worth money. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to go check out couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description of every single video. And if you guys want to see my buffalo nickel collection, let me know right now in the comments. All right, so let's just hop right into it, guys. So first, let's start with the 1937S. All right, so there's going to be a no mint mark, a D mint mark, and an S mint mark. If we look here at the back of this buffalo nickel and we zoom in there to the bottom, that is where the mint mark is going to be on the buffalo nickel. Now, a lot of people here, if you go to the front of the coin, they think that the F underneath the date is the mint mark. However, that is not the mint mark. So the back of the coin underneath five cents is where the mint mark is going to be. First off, here is an S RPM, a repunched mint mark. So that means that the S mint mark here has been repunched. We can see that there in the image displayed. Now, if you want to see your coins up close like this, you can get a USB coin microscope on couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description below. Now, here is that buffalo nickel that has the S repunched mint mark. So this is graded at a mint state 65, which also gives it a lot of value. If you're not familiar with coin grading, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. So 65, that is a very good conditioned coin. So that is going to give it a lot of value as well. Now this coin here sold for over $150. Now if we look at the 1937 S, that has some really nice toning to it. It's graded at a mint state 68, so even a higher grade on this coin, and it doesn't have any types of errors or anything. This coin is super, super valuable. Now, this Buffalo nickel sold for over $29,000. A $29,000 Buffalo nickel, that is incredible. Now keep in mind, if you have a buffalo nickel, it's all worn down, scratched up, that means it's gonna have a lower grade and it's not gonna be worth as much as, you know, one of these ones that are graded at a mint state 65 or 67. Any mint state grade is gonna be worth a lot more than, you know, a worn down nickel that's pretty much a low grade. Let's move on to another more expensive nickel. This is a 1937 proof buffalo nickel so it's graded at a proof 68 almost flawless condition man look at this coin this is incredible it's got that mirror like finish on it man i love love proof coins got so much detail to them absolutely love it this coin here sold for over forty thousand dollars that's right forty thousand us dollars now for the D mint mark, if we move on to the 1937D, you want to look for a repunched mint mark as well, just like on the S mint mark. So here's a couple examples of the D mark being repunched on the 1937 Buffalo nickel. Here is the 1937D that has that repunched mint mark. It is graded at a mint state 65. So if you have the repunched mint mark and the coin is not as in good a condition as this, it's not going to sell for as much as this. But this coin did still sell for over $185. So that's pretty cool, $185 coin, but it is in excellent condition and it does have that repunched mint mark. Now, this is interesting here. A lot of people know about this. If you guys are new to coin collecting, you may not know about this. So the Buffalo nickel, you wanna look for three legs. You can see here where the two arrows are pointing on the left side, that is where the one leg is missing. So we have the two back legs and one front leg. So if you find a three-legged buffalo nickel, you're talking some big money on some of these, especially if they are in very good condition. First off, let's look at one that is in not so great condition. So this one is a very low graded coin. So it's a 1937D that has the three legs, but it's pretty much in terrible condition. It's not in great condition at all, but uh, it's not in the worst condition either. Still, you can see that it only has the three legs, and because of that, this coin sold for over $440. Now, if we look at the same exact coin that only has three legs, but this coin is graded at a mint state 66, it's graded at a very high grade, which means it's in much, much better condition. This Buffalo nickel sold for over $48,000. 
So we go from a $400 coin to a $48,000 coin just because of the condition of the coin. And the three legs is super rare, so you always wanna look out for that. Even if the coin is in terrible condition, they are always going to sell. Now for the 1937, no mint mark. Now this coin here does not have any types of errors. It is solely valuable because of its high grade. It's graded at a mint state 68. You can see that the coin is in excellent condition. That mint state 68 grade speaks for itself here. Now this coin here sold for over $8,000 an $8,000 buffalo nickel. Here's another example of a three-legged buffalo nickel. This one is graded at about uncirculated 58, so it's not graded at a mint state grade, but it's also not graded at an extremely low grade. So it's kind of right up there with the mint state being at a 58, but this coin did sell for over $2,000. So you go from a $400 coin, $2,000 coin, to $48,000 coin. Um, that grade is so, so important in determining the coin's ultimate value. Put it down in the comments right now what coin you want me to do next in these videos, and I will add it to my list. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.